Hey, what's up? Schnell, welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today we're going to be traveling over the bridge to the Garden State. And we'll be talking about Idolatris, the newest NVNM demo, killer, minimalistic black metal. Now, warning. Prolonged exposure to certain frequencies used in this recording may lead to permanent hearing damage. Respect New Jersey or prepare for combat. This is killer, antisocial, just awesome United States black metal. You get a Dark Throne cover as well. But four original tracks that are just fan-fucking-tastic. And track five is a cover of Summer of the Diabolical Holocaust, which was originally performed by Dark Throne on 1993's Under the Funeral Moon. Under a Funeral Moon, I'm sorry. But this 2021 demo is so fucking just good. And on the money for what it is, again, I don't know what's in the water when it comes to the NVNM camp and putting out killer fucking releases of almost every single genre and subgenre when it comes to extreme music. From like heavy metal to death metal to this. Like noisy, minimalistic black metal. And trust me, it's noisy in a good way. Like I really like the lower frequencies that exist in here. It just adds this extra element of just awesomeness in my opinion. Like for example... I love the vocals on here too. But all you get. I need a lectures. I love this stuff. It's like a sick sound. But there's some of those frequencies. But, once again, coming off the Apex Winter demo, like, what the fuck? They have every single base covered with black metal right now. Because you can go down the war metal line as well, and... We have the Massive Retaliation compilation, which... I know they say is morbid attack metal exclusively, but it's pretty much Siege Column if they played a little bit more war metal-y style of thrash, black thrash, whatever you want to call Siege Column besides awesome. But I always looked at Massive Retaliation as like, a brother and sister band with Siege Column, but I'm probably wrong. But when it comes to Idolatris, wow. Like, seriously, wow. Because I know that the people involved with this are 99% also the same that are involved with Apex Winter. 
So having two black metal demos going two completely separate directions and both being incredible, it's rare. In my opinion, it's fucking extremely rare for people that share bands and whatnot to not just have one successful release, but multiple successful releases. Again, I love this demo. It's so good. I really love some of the like withering vocals on here that are very fucking cool. Very just. It makes it stand out from everything else. Like, I love raw black metal. So, like, this is right up my fucking alley. And I love the type of black metal Apex Winter play as well. So, like, having both of these. It's like, just pretty much, what mood am I in? Do I want something a little more weird and raw? Or do I want something more straightforward? Or do I want some just fucking vicious, savage tunes? NVNM is one of those labels where it's like, well, you know what? I want to listen to some death grind. I can. Or, like, some fucking death metal. Yeah. Because none of this stuff is remotely mediocre, in my opinion, either. It's all, like, wow. Especially this idolatrous demo right here. Just obscure, noisy, yet very... Kind of distinctive United States black metal. It kind of just has that US black metal sound to it when it comes to just the overall nature of everything. And also, obviously, since there's a Dark Throne cover, you have that connection to the second wave of Scandinavian black metal. And I think it's a great combination. Just super fucking minimalistic and super fucking cool. It's all about the riffs on this release. And the vocals. I think the vocals are very, very cool. And the drums, aesthetically, on the fucking money. The noisy parts are really cool, too. Like, very random. They don't feel forced, though. Everything feels very, like... Yo! Forgot about this. Ripping guitar. Kill it. And this is DIY and dead as fuck. I love NVNM. Seriously, just fucking low key, no band camp. And I don't know why. People will eat this up. Like, trust me. Holy shit. If NVNM didn't do such limited releases, and I, I get that everything about that but like for example ah uh, where's my fucking altar of gore demo i like just had it oh it's right here
I was, say, I was listening to it last night. Like, I have number two of 25 of the reissue that was at the fetid Cerebral Rot show that Altar of Gore played their first show ever at. And uh, I was just so fucking stoked to finally get my copy off of this. Like, when I bought it off Joe, I was like, dude, like, fuck yeah. And he was like, you know, that's not the original. I was like, yeah, I don't, I don't care, man. Like, fucking A. I had been after this since it came out and sold out, like, immediately. I think the first press was only, like, 50 copies. This is one of the best modern death metal demos. And their full length is one of the most slept on bangers of death metal goodness from the East Coast in a long time. And that is obscure and obscene gods. Holy shit. Now, Blasphematory, on the other hand, this is available on CD and vinyl through Nuclear Winter Records. I need to get this on wax. This is such a good death metal release. I actually sent a bunch of NVNM links to my buddy Rob, and he was blown the fuck away. Like, he was like, yo, all these dudes are in, like, the same bands? I was like, yeah. He was just like, what the fuck? Like, I'm gonna have to start a tape collection. I was like, this is one of those things where, you know, this is not available on CD. This is cassette only here. But, like... When it comes to, like, Siege Column, Nuclear War now handles the vinyl, the CDs, and they, they've been doing the cassettes and whatnot. They did the reissues, even, of the first two demos. But, um, Nuclear Winter Records, which is Dead Congregation's side label alongside Martyr Doom, or I think they might have dropped Martyr Doom for just... Dead Congregation stuff and Nuclear Winter is for everything else. Because I know they're doing an excarnated Entity fucking LP. And that's awesome. But it, it's just the uh, Stillborn and Ash demo on vinyl. Which is fucking fine. Plain black wax. But uh, when it comes to Idolatrous. Obscure. Weird. Yet very familiar. Awesome. Raw black metal. It's got riffs. It's got weirdness. And I just fucking love this stuff. Compared to the Apex Winter demo, it's night and day. It's like I was saying, you know, like some people prefer like, you know, something along the, like they just want to listen to the Valak demos and stuff like that, which is, I love this shit. Like I was saying big fan of raw black metal but sometimes a release like this comes along and it's like holy fucking shit you know a little bit crispier production but it's still raw it's a demo tape but with idolatrous this is you know lo-fi very very minimalistic yet on the money, anti-social, United States, black metal. Respect New Jersey or prepare for eternal warfare. New NVNM Productions presents Idolatrous self-titled demo. If you like, like I said, if you like your black metal, pretty straightforward, yet weird. <laughs> You'll love this. It, it's something of an anomaly, I would say, because it's, I know that makes not too much sense saying it's very straightforward, but weird. When you listen to it, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Just trust me. <laughs> From what you heard, you know, I really hope you will enjoy this as much as I did and continue to enjoy ladies and gentlemen and that's the self-titled demo from new jersey's idolatrous 
released through NVNM Productions. These are limited as fuck. So when they're sold out, they are sold out. I know they still have the Apex Winter release. And I know they have the final March by Massive Retaliation. So get on that shit. They also have the Gauntlet. The Gauntlet rules. That's one of the only NVNM releases I don't have. I'm missing a few, but that's one I need to get my hands on eventually. But, hails to NVNM for making this video possible and for constantly releasing amazing underground music from the East Coast. Like, just everybody, round, round of applause. I don't care if you're in your fucking classroom right now. Just start clapping. Fuck yeah. NVNM. Respect New Jersey. Or prepare for combat. That's not my saying. That's their saying. But this wouldn't be possible either without you folks at home watching. As always, you fucking rule. Who's? <laughs>